What's up guys? Thank you very much for following the first episode of Couch Coaching yesterday. There was a lot of you tuning in on my Instagram stories, uh, YouTube videos and Facebook videos. I have three new tricks for you today, uh, Rayleigh to blind, dark slide and double back roll. So if you want to learn these tricks, sit down on your couch, relax and watch episode two of Couch Coaching starting right now. Oh, now we got a video on Instagram from Nacho Tassara. Uh, Nacho used to come here on Union Island and he sent a Rayleigh to blind attempt. So let's see his video. So it's popping pretty good. He has his bar close to him. Good small Rayleigh to get started. All right, I see the first mistake and then he's going for the bar and I see the second mistakes. So you are doing everything right, but two things, Nacho. And I'm gonna give you the two tips uh, the two things you need to do to land the Rayleigh to blind next time you are able to go on the water. So basically, the, we can see in the video, as you go on your Rayleigh to blind, you let go your bar here, you are unhooked. You are letting go your bar too early. My first advice on that trick is do your Rayleigh to blind and as you rotate to land blind, start pulling on the bar with two hands two hands, two hands, and when you're halfway into the turn, you can let go the bar and start turning it. So that's the first advice. Now, the second piece of advice I'm gonna give you is as you are going to blind, you can see in the videos, you are looking down. So automatically, you crash facing down like this. Uh, it's very easy to solve this. You just have to work on it. You do your rally, all right? You're on your rallies. You start rotating by pulling the hand with two, the bar with two hands. Think about turning your head. Follow the horizon, turn your head. Keep on turning your head toward the direction you're going so you can land uh, a blind and then pass the bar. By doing this, you can also do a blind judge pretty easily. Pull the bar with two hands and keep on turning your head. Do not stop by looking down and you're gonna land your rally to blind or your blind judge. For the next video, we have a submission from Kif Kit Tori. I think it's a dark slide, let's check it out. How to improve, all right. This is a different take to the dark slide I haven't seen before. If I can call it a mistake, maybe you came up with a different trick. Uh, you are doing a different kind of dark slide. You are dragging the nose of the board instead of dragging the back, uh, the tail of the board. My advice is do a proper dark slide. It's gonna be much easier. We can see in the video, uh, by the end of the trick, uh, you're kind of losing balance because when you drag the front side of the board, it's a little bit harder because you are hunched forward. So if, if you hit a chop or a little bit of a wave, uh, you might lose balance. My advice is when you do your dark slide, as you go for it, bend your front knee as you start the rotation and send the kite like this and you start leaning forward, bend the front knee so you have the, the back side of the board dragging on the water. There's a very good video on the Diotone Academy app on how to do a dark slide. You should uh, check it out. It was filmed here at the JT Pro Center. Uh, if you want to continue, do uh, the trick like you do it. I think it's uh, to your advantage. It's a different way of doing it. It looks cool as well, uh, but I don't see how you can improve it uh, because uh, dragging the front side of the board uh, make you lose a little bit more balance. And that's maybe where your mistake is. Okay, now for the next trick, uh, I'm gonna head over to the Duotone Academy app and we have Maria's Graham that uploaded a back roll attempt. How do I make my back roll even higher and maybe upgrade to a double back roll? All right, she's riding. Okay, sending the back roll, landing it. So that's a very good back roll already. You know, you're not going very high, but you have the rotation dialed in, so that's pretty cool. If you wanna go higher, uh, it's uh, pretty simple. You need to go uh, much faster, okay? Try to have a little bit more speed before you do your back roll and you want to send the kite uh, higher, faster. You, we can see in the video you're sending the kite very slow so everything kind of slows down. You don't want this to happen. You want to send the kite up and pull the bar a little bit earlier as well so you generate more power uh, when the kite is actually going up. You can also decide to send the kite further back into the window so you're going to generate more lift uh, from your kite. Now, if you want to do a double back roll, it's very easy because most of the time people do double back rolls not on purpose. So to do a double back roll, send your kite faster, pull the bar a little bit earlier, maybe send it further back into the window. And as you leave the water, bend your knees to be small, turn your head very strong behind your back like this, keep on turning your head, keep on turning your head. And when you're halfway to the second back roll, start stopping your eyes in one spot on the horizon. It's gonna help you to stop the rotation. And make sure as you do your back roll, 
to keep your right elbow tucked in against your chest to make sure you're gonna send back uh, the kite the right way. That's it for today. Episode three is tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, if you have tricks you want to learn and you have video footage of it, of your crashes or your tricks attempt, send them to me on my Instagram at Jeremy Trone. I will take my time to answer each one of you or make a video out of it. See you tomorrow.